All right. Hey guys, how are you doing? Good. Really good. Very, really, really, very good. Can you please introduce yourselves? I'm Jeff from the Used. <laughs> I'm Dan from the Used. Awesome. So, are you excited to play here tonight? Um, is it tonight we're playing? Yes. In about three hours. We're playing in three hours. We just got here last night. And we're only staying for the show, unfortunately. So we're playing, and then we're getting on a plane and fly back home. Woo! Woohoo! But you, what you were here last night? So you party last night? Not enough time. Too tired. Really? Yeah. We partied on the plane. Yeah. Have plane. you been touring a lot so that you're like that tired? Um, we had a month off. We we're just jet lagged from flying here. So it was a 12-hour flight. No How was your month off? Great. Actually, yeah. we we've been writing a record too at the same time. So. Yeah. Oh, that's great because like tell me about it it's awesome um, we have 12 ideas 12 or 14 ideas written yeah. um, still in the works like we'll probably release only like five or six as an EP before okay. Warped Tour all right so when are you gonna release like the entire album um I don't know yet we're gonna re-record a full-length record maybe next year but this is just for right now all right because you've just released, like uh, like a month ago or something, you've released Fall in the Roll Part 2, right? How has it been received so far? Amazing. All of our fans have um, converted into the used-ism. It's like a religion for people that worship the used. And so all these fans that bought new record, actually honorary became usedites. Yeah. Why did you decide to bring out Fall in the Roll again? Um, it's actually uh, it's a funny story. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> it's not really a funny story. It's a short story. Yeah. Because it's not, a re it's not vulnerable again, because the songs are different. <laughs> well, there's like a couple of acoustic songs, some remixes, and some new songs, right? But most of it is like the same as Vulnerable. Why not just like a new album? Why uh, the same album, but like different? All these songs were kind of related to Vulnerable. Okay. Like the four songs that didn't make Vulnerable, we didn't want to try to release for a different record because... We'd rather write new songs for a different record. You know, each each record we write sort of has a uh, its own area. You know what I mean? Like its own edges, its own life, its own whiteness. And then when you flip the record over, it'll say the used on the other side. <laughs> you know, um, I don't even know what I was talking about. I lost. I lost I think it there. The, the, so. the vulnerable too was mainly for our diehard fans. Like they want to hear what we wanted to do. We wanted to do some acoustic shit, so we thought we'll put it out. We wanted to get some of our friends to remix some of our songs. Why didn't you do this on the first Vulnerable? Because uh, those songs, well, that's a good point. Actually, no, the, the acoustic songs weren't recorded then. We re-recorded the acoustic songs after Vulnerable was released. And um, as far as the EP songs go, we didn't know those songs were going to go on the record. So all these songs kind of just collided up, and the remixes weren't ready either. So it was like... We didn't have enough time for Fall Number 1. We didn't have enough time for it, and we didn't want to release it by itself because it doesn't really make sense. So it has to kind of go with Vulnerable, so. All right. So, but I uh, I interviewed uh, you before for Fall Number 1, uh, last, like exactly a year ago. And um, I got the idea that Vulnerable uh, came from a really like, kind of like um, um, a state of mind. It was really like, um, uh, how do you say that? Like, I think Bert was really like in, in certain, he felt a certain way. He wrote, I wrote the album with a certain kind of emotion, and I was wondering if you could still relate to that now that you, that now that you've brought out Vulnerable Two. Yeah, I think even more so. Uh, Bert has been on a positive, awesome kick lately. Like for the past, not kick, you know what I mean. He's Bert has changed from um, a green caterpillar into a really pretty moth. And I think the vulnerable one was really like positive as well. So that kind of, uh, that's the same vibe again, I guess. Yes, yes. Bert has been awesome. I mean, he quit drinking. He hasn't, Bert hasn't touched alcohol in over 200 days or something. Close More than a year. Yeah. What about you guys? Are you in a whole positive vibe as well? Yeah, I'm pretty positive. I mean, I'm happy, you know. I think, uh, yeah, I don't want to talk what I think about because that'll just get negative. But. <laughs> you yes I'm really I'm really positive right. <laughs> I'm very, very happy lately it's been this is this last tour we did in America was one of the best tours the use has ever been on oh that's great so do you think that the next album the one that you're writing right now is it gonna be a happy record again 
Um, I'm sure it'll be positive, you know? I mean, when we say positive, the used is still a very aggressive band, you know what I mean? There's it's not going to be some sort of like pop, pop, like really. pop happy, pretty, yeah. you know, whatever, but <laughs> it's definitely going to be uh, a, a step change from where, we, where Vulnerable was yeah. in a new direction, so. Yeah. Can you tell me something about the new direction? It's awesome. It's great. <laughs> That's all I can you tell can't you. really tell it anyway, anything. I can tell you it's going to be a little bit, a lot messier and a lot dirtier, and less. It's going to be a lot less, right. in the most positive, great way you can think of. All right. So, what exactly does being vulnerable mean to you guys? Um, strong, strength. That's the idea behind it. Yeah. Uh, I almost, I almost feel like the opposite of that. Vulnerable to me is like. I don't know, frightened and scared, you know what I mean? Like, or, or even just, I don't know, everybody's vulnerable. So it's, it's, a, it's a big word. I don't even know how to spell it. It starts well, with a B though, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, Bert told me that like being vulnerable makes you stronger. In what way does being vulnerable makes you stronger? Um, knowing your weaknesses, knowing, you know, like your, your strengths and your negatives, you know? Um, you can learn a lot from yourself when you relax and let your ego go. Yeah. Great. I just thought of that too. It's not <laughs> it's like <good>. <laughs> it's pretty, that's pretty good. So I heard you're making a DVD as well. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's been in the works for about, well, 13 years now it's been in the works. Yeah. Um, 13 years? It's, it's going to encompass our whole career of the use. Is it like a documentary? Kind of, yeah. It's going to be... It's hard to say. It's going to have different bands that are going to be on it, like that toured with us, uh, people that were there from the beginning and still around, um, old management, um, new management. Um. So you already have like a lot of footage and you just have to like put it into one DVD? Yeah. Yep. All right. So when can we expect this DVD? Probably next year. What would you say that it DVD is? Hopefully, yeah. I mean, there's so much shit going on right now that the DVD is definitely like up there on the list, but it's not priority. I mean, it is, but it isn't. Like, we want to focus on writing and recording and touring and, and in the process get the DVD done, but probably next year, yeah. So what can we expect from the DVD? What, what is it going to show? Is it going to show, like, uh, very, very personal stuff, or is it just, like, music and management business kind of related? Um, there's about a, a half hour of each person naked. Um, <laughs> really? It's two hours long, <laughs> and it's just four band members naked spinning. Um. Too, it's it's yeah, spinning on little like what are they called? You know those stools you can sit on that spin? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. Just spinning on that for a half hour. It's like an automated stool thing that we hooked up. It has a gear here to a gear with that like cord on it, you know, and then it attaches to another gear, and those gears max match. Do you think your fans you know want to see you naked? Um, well, I don't know. Well, that's we just wanted to make it so. Romina is going to do the test with you guys. Okay. And you're going to go change the No, you can just sit here. You actually have a little medal to win. A chocolate medal. A chocolate medal. Okay. You got to answer as quick as possible. Daylight or moonlight? What? Daylight or moonlight? Moonlight. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. No, it's Daylight? Okay. Romantic date or one eyed stand? One eyed stand. <laughs> one eye Dan. One eye Dan. One eye Dan? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, me with one eye. I said one, one eye Dan. <laughs> Energy drink or coffee? Ugh. Not none? Yeah. <laughs> Tea? Tea's good. Uh, Energy drink or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. Summer or winter? Summer. Summer. This question's Billy Talent or the use, so. <laughs> It's a hard one, isn't it? What I think it's. It, yeah, what did they say? <laughs> the use, right? They did, okay. <laughs> Modern rock or old school rock? African. African? With bongo? Cuban Afro beat. I'm in a Cuban, yeah. <laughs> uh, both sometimes. <laughs> Camping or hotel? Damn, man, that's a good one. Uh, Camping in a tour bus. Camping once a year at a hotel the rest of the time. Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Neither. Neither. Nor. You don't like Coke? I don't, I don't like soda. I don't drink soda. You not? Know? 
Yes. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> that, that was not an option. It is. Same color. Same oh. color. Okay. Beach or mountains? Beach. Yeah, beach. Skiing or sunbathing? Um, <laughs> skiing are in the sun too, though. But I don't like skiing because it skis are involved. So it's sunbathing by default. Even like, yeah, by default. N um, none, but I would go sunbathing because my wife would make me. <laughs> Cocktails or beer? Bears. Beer. It's a, well, sex on the beach or sex in an elevator? <laughs> so it's either gritty or, or a video camera filming you the whole time. <laughs> Neither. Both. Same time. Both. Both? Both. At the same time. Both. Yeah. yeah, if it was if it's with Jeff, I'm with Jeff. Uh, blondes, brunettes, or redheads? Black. I like black. My baby has red hair. So I'm going red. Red. Skirts or shorts? You look great in a Really long shorts, <laughs> like really long, like right here shorts. I'm gonna go with shorts because Bert wears shorts a lot. Last one: portrait tattoos or tribals? Portrait tattoos? What's that? Portrait. Oh, tribal portraits. Portrait that doesn't tribals. Exist, yeah. yeah, I could. Yeah. Mike Tyson has a face tribal. I've seen many portraits of Mike Tyson. I'm gonna go with tribal all the way, man. I love tribal. But you have portraits. No, but I love tribal. You should see when I, I'm covered and where you can't see is fucking barbed wire. Hold back from top to bottom is tribal barbed wire. Yeah. Alright, the last one. A Brazilian or a landing strip. Um maybe a prop jet. I don't even know what that is. Prop jet. Prop jet helicopters. I've never heard of that, but it sounds great. Helicopters. <laughs> Well, guys, thank you very much. Yeah, it was fun interviewing you. I think you earned a medal. Absolutely. But yeah? It's in my bag, and it's right no, there. No, no, it's right there. But you got it as well? I think so. Good to you, Sam. Go on. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, we got one. There's only one. That's okay. okay. We'll share. There you go. We'll share. <laughs>